Bicknell carried off the cup. This is an incendiary bomb. It takes fire on impact and may burn 15 minutes. It will ignite anything in its vicinity. The stirrup hand pump is the best to deal with both bomb and fire. The barrel is placed in a bucket while another person runs out the hose. The nozzle can be adjusted to give a jet for use on the fire or a spray for use on the bomb itself. When using the jet, pump at 65 double strokes a minute, 35 for the spray. Keep low to attack the fire, there's less heat and smoke. The Browns at home. Suddenly an alarm, enemy aircraft are here, but the Browns are prepared to tackle the worst. An incendiary bomb hits the house. It burns very violently for the first minute, but after that it can be tackled. Brown goes to ascertain the damage and sends to Smith's next door for the pump they share. There's no panic. A bucket, always kept full, is placed outside the front door Miss Smith arrives. She has received training from the local authorities, which you too can receive. Brown decides to operate the pump away from the heat and smoke. You'll notice how Miss Smith keeps as near the floor as possible and plays a jet of water on the heart of the fire to get it under control. Brown Jr. calls the fire brigade just in case. While the spray is on the bomb, the surroundings are kept wet and the bomb is doing no more damage. You'll notice Miss Smith is alternately using jet and spray. Three or four families can club together to share the cost of a pump. They can apply to the local authorities for training. Now the spray has done its work, the bomb is almost out. Miss Smith finishes off the job. By being thus equipped to deal with the emergency, these people have saved their houses and perhaps their lives. You can do the same. It's up to you. <laughs>